Celebi Venusaur, Tag Team GX. All right, I've always, I don't know, that's probably one of my favorites of them. Here's the deck list a little bit real quick. Here. Recorded this a while ago before the whole banning the stadium card, which I'm like, what? Uh, so I haven't played the deck since. But this here's the old video, the show off. There's the deck list, obviously, that I'm using right now. <laughs> where it has that and uh it's the basic one there but instead of going the, with full shaman i just had to go with a little bit offense and defense and using the lorantis to do some extra damage because and it shows sometimes but you have shaman healing really good lorantis again i just said really good i mean when it sets up it's awesome and it's just a big behemoth that you just can't take down because of all the healing and uh, i really that's one of my favorite decks honestly the stadium card to heal for less damage again. Which I'm like still wondering about that just to show off again. But And then Gardenia, Total Waifu. Uh, we got Acerola. Because, I mean, it's just... Oh my gosh, you should just... Oh, okay, let's get into it. <laughs> I mean, you should just see what happens. I mean, dang. Uh-oh. Fire coin flip. Ruh-roh. Venusaur might be in trouble. Schnabel. No, I said trouble. Trouble? Prepare for trouble and make it double. <laughs> Meow. Whatever. Uh, there we go. Finally, the coin flipped. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got for a good open. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. well, I I got to go with one of those. At least I'm sure I'll be able to get this one out. One of the Lorantuses, so... Uh, but I got Cynthia. That's my draw support. <laughs> Crap. Uh, mm. And now we play the waiting game. The waiting is the hardest part. Okay, but I really do love this deck. Selby Venusaur, when they first announced the first set of tag team Pokemon. I don't know, I just thought it was real cool. I love the artwork on there. All the artworks of it is really nice. And it's good to see Venusaur get some love and at least some kind of a GX card. All right, let the game begin. Yes, I would like to draw a card. Hey, I got one. Good. Then I can at least put an energy on them and... Up. Oh! Ha! <laughs> All right, so I'm... <laughs> All right, a mirror match. This is going to be fun. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's put that on there. Unless he's playing the crushing hammer one. That would that would, that would suck. But, taking the chance, because I need to... <sighs> I'll never see that Lorantis again. <laughs> Oh, it came back. Good Lorantis. Okay, so it, it was it was kind of worthy. It works. All right, because I love the tin version one there, because it just looks like, like, Venusaur's like, hey, buddy. And Sylvie's like, how you doing, friend? Oh, that's real cute. And I just think it's really good tag team. I mean, it's easy, double colorless, and the grass. You can start going right away with the first attack, which is a nice start. And then you need to get that extra grass on there, and then you need to start wailing. And then if you take any sort of damage, you do 180, heal. I mean, <laughs> there's so much healing. I've never seen such a deck with healing. I really enjoy this one there. Sure, right now, sadly, weak the fire. Hey, you put the thing out for me. Thank you. Uh, I, well, obviously, we're going to be having a lot of stuff. Oh, no. You suck. <laughs> uh, but I, liked, I tried to do a different version instead of just the obvious version where it was all basically just the four Venusaur and... Or like three Venusaur and four Shaman or something like that. But I wanted to just go mixed up with the offense and the defense. Because I think it still works. There's a lot of healing. That's so why I want the big Masala. Malazda. I can't remember what the heck that thing's called. Because I figured just in case something like this were to... Like for this. Like if they were to poison or do the confusion with me. I get to heal it. The condition and heal. Uh, You know, my Pokemon's HP. And it is such an annoying deck there. You know, honestly, real, I'm going to miss her. She's so cute. And I'm just going to miss, you know, the shenanigans to get there. Because, I mean, you get one Venusaur on the bench, one in the active. And they're both, you know, fully, you know, you can bounce back the one. And then the other one already has stuff on it. It has energies on it. So you can start attacking right away. Oh, the Paris version. Okay, okay. I draw into a Guzma. Uh, let's uh, put that on there. So I can start doing 20 more damage. Eventually. No, I don't need any of this. Go, Cynthia, go. Yay, a grass energy. You gonna do that to that one, too? You jerk. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But at the same time, I'm very sad. 
Let's get another Shaman, and what are we going to do here? Let's get another Venusaur, maybe? Obviously, that's all I can do. <laughs> got a nice bench going. I'm liking what I got. <laughs> do the whistle, yeah. Do the bike. Heal or, yeah. Because he's looking like he's got a big hand. I'll let that little cute little guy sacrifice its little self for me. For the greater good. That is Venusaur and Selby. <laughs> uh, again, it's really good. I don't know, it's one of my favorites. I know now because fire is going crazy, so sadly. Unless there's some kind of... I guess unless maybe put the weakness policy thing on it. Unless maybe put the weakness policy thing on it, but, uh, oh, now he's got Parasect out. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yep. I'm gonna kill my little guy, which is fine, but then hopefully I get a double colorless and start hitting on, uh, the Venus right there. This is gonna be a fun, aw, uh, pretty little Erica. Waifu card, what? what? Oh. What? 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 They could have... He could have at least killed off the... Alright, that was a fun mirror match. Uh, I won. <laughs> and I just won the coin flip. Alright, uh, let's try another one here. I didn't even get to do anything. I just love one. Aww. Uh, good waifu hand, but no... Uh... <laughs> and again. Uh, that's the joy of this. But we'll get with someone. What should be shame and, and attack in my active? <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least I think they had uh, Battle Bear too. So. What do you guys think of Sylvie and Venusaur? The different type of decks, the shamans. I mean, it's a, just a, a genius build when you think about it. <laughs> I really. I really just like the mechanics of the deck and just how bulky and the healing and just how hard it is to take this down. Unless it's a fire deck, it is super hard to take this down. Yep. And again, we start with the little guy again. But we'll get plenty of the other ones out to bench up. I go first anyway, so I don't have to worry about... You don't have to worry about our little... Fomantis getting knocked down, then, you know, me losing, so I'll hopefully get this out someone on the bench. Most likely, I'll go for Venusaur with the netball. Just to guarantee me something. Ooh, Zoroar, ooh, and Lycanroc, alright. Love those cards. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, let's see what we get. Two Acerolas, alright. Yeah. Come on, get him out. Yes. <laughs> Put him on there. Good job. Oh, he'll have a crushing hammer too, or the whatever other hammer one is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give me that. <clears throat> Put on there just in case. Gonna wait. I'm waiting. I'm questioning. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, you know, a, 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 a Marshadow. Let's have a Marshadow while we're at it. Or a Judge, because Marshadow's teched in every deck. Even decks where it's like, why? <laughs> Communication. Aw, so sad, little rock rough. Yep, showing off the waifus there. <laughs> Ditto, come on, fight me. <laughs> I love that pose. I'm gonna miss the work. All right, Ultra Ball. So I guess, in theory, I should have grabbed the grass so they can start attacking. But then I lose that double colorless, and I won't be able to get it back. So it's just kind of one of those signs of anything. I can shuffle it back in. That way, I didn't lose it. Hmm, Sneasel. Oh, 
As long as they don't somehow switch that. Oh, no, they already put an energy on. Oh, my gosh, good. Because I'm like, no. Wait, why did you put the energy on him? I would have put it on the Sneasel, then got rid of my double colorless. Unless it only gets rid of the energy that's on the active. Oh, boy, this is a hand. <clears throat> yes, I guess I'll evolve this, because why not? Do 20 more damage to people. Put that out, and, uh, yeah, we have the Cynthia. Because I mean, I need something. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, get my double colors back. Let's put that on there. Put another one down. Come on, you big guy. Come on. <laughs> Go for the heal. At least a little bit. Don't want him to die, but... <sighs> I'm going to have to sacrifice him. But then if he knocks that out, then there goes, uh, here comes Venusaur. Because all I got to do is, yeah, here comes Venusaur. Venusaur. But he should be able to survive. My Lorantis will survive because of the stadium. I almost said field. Again, Yu-Gi-Oh player here. That also gets confused. And I do at times in Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> once in a while, maybe say some Pokemon terms, but... <laughs> Ooh, he's got the muck too, so that would uh, that would shut off my shaman and that's it, but so I can see why they But then that twenty heal can go a long way when you think about it. <sighs> so he'll only be able to do ninety to me. No <laughs> He can do one thirty to me now. Oh well he I got another one in there, so whatever. Alright. So, Zorik, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to trade. What are we going to trade? <clears throat> what are we going to trade? Well, I already saw it, but still. <laughs> ooh, 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 that extra damage really hurt. Poor Lorantis. Oh, I love the little, like, geisha kind of shy looking face thing it does. Oh, well, no, I just put that out, put a grass energy on him, and <clears throat> start going to town. Put him out there. Oh, it's so good. I have Acerola. So hopefully if he does do something to me, I'll just bounce it back. Or heal. Then bounce back. Yeah, this is gonna... <laughs> little duckies, little duckies, little duckies. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> What you gonna do, Zorark? What you gonna do? Great ball. Man, we're losing a lot of balls in this game. I mean, we're losing our balls. I don't know what it is with the Pokemon TCG, but they're getting rid of our balls, guys. <laughs> and gals. But it's like, oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, is that the one that does, uh... Oh, just 50 for each one that has an ability. Okay. That's not the one that does 60 to every ability, which is <sighs> kind of even more annoying. But it's 50 for every ability that they have in play, because that could be a threat. For everyone in play, both of us, I think. Because right now they got 200 damage. That's, they'll need two more abilities in play to knock out, you know. You. <clears throat> They're gonna switch. They're gonna switch someone. Oh, he's my favorite though. We finally got like a werewolf Pokemon. That that like and rock right there, the midnight one, because he looks so, like the whole bloodthirsty thing works. I'm surprised to let that get by here in America, with censorship and all, but and protecting the kitties and all that. But look at that. That is amazing. The artwork, he looks so, like, evil and crazy and sadistic and just, ah. He looks so cool. Are you gonna switch out someone else again? You're really gonna waste... You're gonna waste the Weavile just to take out my Shaman.
Ah, uh, maybe I don't know what this does. 50, 60? So it does... For every ability I guess I have. Oh, well then, okay. And uh, let's just uh, get rid of that guy. Boosh! Now we're finally doing something, Venus or Celebi. Alright, we're finally attacking! Just seeing what they got. Well, just seeing what I got. Alright, their turn. Zorwark is back out. You're gonna die, Zorwark. <laughs> Selby is like, this is my butter. This is my butter. Hold on to that vine of Venusaur. And he's like, yeah, we're gonna get you, Zorwark. And Zorwark's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually afraid right now. Because <laughs> all he's gonna be able to do is 130. And, aww. Just gonna be able to do 130. Aww, yeah, this, I mean... <clears throat> good thing I have Acerola, because... That was a smart move on their part to put out the one that doesn't have any energy on it, but I have Acerola. I'm gonna bounce it out, take out the ones I can attack with, and... There goes Zorwark. In theory, they had a nice little idea going there, but sadly... Hey, Zorwark. Ugh. If it wasn't for so much healing and bouncing and all that stuff... I mean, look at this. Because you can't one-shot this. You're just going to do damage, which is just able for me to use Acerola. Use her. Bounce back to my hand. Send out the other one. And there goes... There goes Zork. Yep, here we go. Maybe they don't think we played this, but or I have it, but I got it. <clears throat> Come on, let me play her. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And then put you out. Boosh. And they're probably sitting there going, Raga, 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 Rumble, Rumble, Groar. And then I have Guzma, so I'm going to put this on the one that has the... Uh, what do you call it? No, no. That's actually a better idea. So there goes Zork. If he does damage again, I fully heal, do 180. <laughs> so... And then I have another Grass Energy. If they swap someone else, I have Guzma to bring it back. <sighs> it's so cool. I just love this duck. I mean, look at that. They're like, huh, I did damage to you. And it's like, yeah. Oh, they're going to do it again. <laughs> they're going to do it again. But I have Guzma. They don't know that, but it's like, I have Guzma. <sighs> I Guzma. Right? Ugh. <sighs> I'm like, yeah, I just realized this whole time I forgot he's weak to grass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let's go some out. <laughs> the like of uh, the like rock with the energy. Or the rock rough? What? Blip. Uh, yes, another Acerola. I got that. Get rid of the Devour Field. They'll just get rid of it again anyway. But let's do that. <clears throat> and they still can't destroy it because, again, one, if they do pull it out, 130, they'll be 10 shy of killing that. I'll Acerola. Boom. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, I was going to hit it. You have a good duck. So let's get rid of the one like rock so we can't, you know. So that was good. Hit the like rock. Hit the rock rough, I mean. So he can't evolve it and switch out again. Now he just has that, because I doubt he plays a fourth. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever play four. Like a rock with his Zorwark. Used up two unit energies, two double colorlesses. They got double colors, they're not a unit energy. It's probably all they play is probably four unit energy and four double colorless. There we go. That's still not going to be enough because that takes away that choice band basically with my field. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> well, 
I say luck out. I do this, and I don't luck out when I play, but they'll luck out and get rid of the field. Nope. So I survive because, yeah. I say roll a time. I say roll a. I say roll a. I mean, what are you doing? Play it. <laughs> I'm just stalling now, aren't I? Well, I guess just to see what I got. Because, yeah, I, yeah, that makes sense. I'm stalling. Because, yeah, I just realized he's weak, and then I kill him no matter what. <laughs> Solar Bane. 300. Boosh. I mean, I can't believe this whole time I was like, Dah, like a rock. <laughs> Durr. Gow. You're weak to grass. Uh, we'll cut right into the next one real quick. I just wanted to play this one to show off. Because I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. I sell those magic cards. I'm like, yes, Gyarados. We're just jumping right in. Oh, sorry, just started right up in here. And this is where I just started recording. I'm like, oh, I have to record this because I wasn't... I stopped. That was going to be enough for the video, but I had to go with this because this is my favorite decks, the Gyarados, and I just had to win or lose. I don't think I'm going to lose because he's going to have to do a lot of two-shot and I have a lot of healing, but that's my favorite. That's why I'm so excited. Yep, I got to do a happy face. I got to do a happy face. So if this is going to be it, Crash or Wake, I think this deck, the Gyarados deck, I will show my version, which is basically, you know, it, it's, it, I think it has the perfect, like, I mean, when it sets up, it is golden. The only thing that sucks is when you get, like, <laughs> you know, nothing on your bench. You have one magic carpet, and it's like, oh, you're dead. Because <laughs> it's, unless they can't do 30 damage to me when they attack first turn or something. But this is genius. Let me look at that. 20 heal, and ah, oh, I love you, Gyarados. Always been a favorite of mine. I love playing the games. Uh, Earthquake, give him Dragon Dance. He was a sweeper of mine. A lot of times I used to play against my buds, and he'd be like a sweeper of my team, where I'd have my, in the video games, and we'd battle each other, and I'd have him as like my one Pokemon, and he'd like knock out my opponent's six with just my one get with the Gyarados. I wouldn't have to use the other ones, because Gyarados would be like a couple Dragon Dances, Earthquakes, and all, and uh, uh, was that Waterfall, and be like, boom done so this deck here is just amazing it works the mechanics great synergy it just all comes together it's perfect with the gyarados when it sets up it is just a beautiful thing that comes to do all that damage because all the cards just work with each other so i'm very excited to be playing this and even if i were to lose to it i'd be like i lost to the best gyarados deck i've ever seen <laughs> but let's keep setting this up here enough on that commentary oh, i just gyarados is awesome and that deck is just awesome. Yes, I said awesome a lot. Captain Awesome. Not Captain Hammer, but Captain Awesome. Captain Awesome is from Chuck. Bartowski. But anyway. <laughs> Shazam! Oh, look at that. He's so beautiful. That's <laughs> such a good card. Uh, but he can't do enough to knock me out. I'll just heal. And then I'll knock out his Gyarados. Oh, it just It's a shame. But you're trying, you're trying, and I love this. Yep, that's basically it. Yep, there's rest. So it's, it's, it's what's perfect. You can bring him back. Yep, bring him back, and then put the other one on there. That way, you can constantly ah, uh, if as long as you don't get rid of them. Yeah, come on, you're gonna get a, get the there you go. See the Gyarados. They're gonna it's gonna be a uh, dragging the battle out, but it's gonna be all oh, of that. Oh, wow, he plays a. Uh, that's a different version on the Lolan uh, Ninetales uh, GX. I like that. That might be an interesting tech to try out. Yeah, I'll go with Lily because I'm pretty confident that. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, now I get her. <laughs> do I have the other Shaman? I do not, of course. You might actually get to knock out someone of mine. All right. Oh, wait, I get to heal because of the GX. Nice try, though, buddy. Evergreen GX. <sighs> Completely healed. Boosh. And then shuffle my cards back, which I also forgot about that ability. <laughs> Poor Gyarados, but oh, this is so awesome. Oh, 
Distilled, oh, Distilled Blast is so cool. It's such a great deck. Go Venusaur. Go after and defeat my favorite deck. <laughs> Currently. Yeah, look at that. Get the heal another 100. If I do that. Yep. And then no matter what he does with this Gyarados. Look at that. Boosh! Give him a solar beam. <laughs> hey, my other shaman. Because he can't do 250 to me. You even if you put a choice band on. Wait, maybe if he did put a choice band on. <laughs> you have a good deck. I just have to tell him I love that deck so much. <laughs> oh, they didn't want me to have me finish it. Yeah, I want to finish But look at that. You are the MVP. You are the MVP. <laughs> uh, what the hell? We got time for more. I just really want to kind of show off because I felt like the first one was just didn't do anything with the mirror match. Just to show off Gyarados. So that really wasn't too fair. The other one was a good battle with Zorwark. Uh, one more just good battle. Let's hope for something. Hey, hey, Ninetales! Such a pretty Pokemon. Beautiful Pokemon, Nolan Nine Ninetales. I love the Alolan forms. And I love the Alolan Vulpix Ninetales much more. The ice, the blues, the whites. Pretty design. Real cute. Ah, oh, beautiful. Much more than the regular versions of Ninetales and Vulpix. Oh, no. <coughs> Give him an oh, no. I got nothing to heal. Hey, I got a Venusaur, though, so that works. Come on, Venusaur, let's do something, and... Could just be the sleeves. I'm like, are we going against a fire deck? Because, uh oh. I mean, I got a dragon, you know, Rayquaza, but he's green, so, you know. Yeah, you know, it works. Oh, okay. Ultra Necrozma? Could it be Ultra Necrozma? Ooh, yeah. My boy, Mimikyu and Gengar. I love Mimikyu. Uh, Gen 7 had somebody else in Pokemon. Oh, energy on there. Yep, he's going to do it. Which is fine, I guess. But I have plenty of heal. I hope. <laughs> Just, I better get rid of this stuff before he does his... At least I hope I can get rid of a lot of this stuff before it's too late. I should be, though, because that draws a card. The bike. Give me that. Get out some Pokemon, maybe an energy or two. Probably should get another Venus wrap up. Uh, get the other arts so I get both arts out. Cute little shaman. Yep, well, Cynthia. Oh yeah, that's a good hand. Because if it makes me draw up to so many. Mm. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Get rid of it just in case. Let's go to grass energy. And yeah. So even if he does do Gengar's uh, one thing. He has GX. I draw up till 7, is it right? So the most, if I do draw that, I can only be taking 150 minus the 30 from the, so I'll be taking 120, and that's just not going to be enough. Plus, I do have one share on the bench, so I'll be taking only 100 at the most. <clears throat> And that's not enough to... Ruh, ruh. Oh, well. <laughs> uh -huh, you're just doing everything, aren't you? <laughs> I got Ase Rolo, though. So if that worst comes to worst, all that, and I bounce him back. Because I don't think he can even two-shot him. Thank you. 
fun little car, though. I like the new support. Uh, that one uh, surprise box with the creepy Gengar coming out of the Jack in the Box thing. That actually works to add it on to more damage from this. So. Ooh, 250. Good thing I have Acerolas. <laughs> So unless he puts a... Nope. Yep, he ain't gonna be able to kill it. Nice try, though. He's probably thinking, all right, he's gonna die. And it's like, no, I got... I got a roll. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's awesome about this deck. It's like, unless you one-shot this guy, somehow, ain't gonna happen. Yeah, put that one out in case it gets rid of it. Then I can definitely for sure save the life forest. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. So hopefully I'll luck out and life force will be able to stake around for a turn or two. Oh, the oxys, huh? Okay. So his main attacker is this. Oh, no, he's got a steel energy, so that means he does play the alternate Krasma version. Which is fun, so I guess Gengar is just the tech, which is what I do for mine. I'll show that off later. I've always liked alternate Krasma and the Malamars. A lot of times I've seen myself actually using... Yeah, let's go with that again. Or the Life Forest. Because I can heal 60 from them, then. And at least I get the heal 60 from him this turn. I don't know, put that on. Do I really want to get just for like one card? Nah, we're going to take the chance. I doubt he's going to be able to do a lot of damage to me again. But I do like the Gengar and McHugh. It's It's a nice little tech option inside the Ultimate Crossman deck. And I find myself using him, or them, more than Ultra Necrozma, just because I do think it's just good. Like, your opponent can't play, you force him to get that hand. Cool. Oh. Oh. Again, I just also roll it. I'll, I'll, I'll humor them a little bit, though. <laughs> or Guzma. But why would I do that? I mean, look at that. Boom. And then he's going to die because I have that. That heals it completely. I mean, look at this. This is what it's like in action with this deck. Sadly, fire is reigning supreme everywhere. But look at this. This is just the deck in action. I love this. I mean, look at that. All that effort. And it's like, was it worth it? Look at all the healing that did. Completely healed again. And I might as well just use it. Because, one, you know, I, that's what I get tired of with some people. They won't even really use their tag team jacks until they can get the bonus factor but i don't care about the healing myself part even though i'm fully healed if i can knock out and take three prizes that seems a lot smarter which i noticed a lot of people with zekron pikachu they will not use that gx because they want to do the ultimate gx move but it's like dude if there's someone there that can die by the gx move by 200 instead of your 150 why not just take it out right away if that's like the threat and i see people not do that more often than not, they will just use the 150, attach six to themselves, and I'm like, oh, now I'm going to knock you out because you got too cocky and full of yourself. I don't like plays like that. Like me, I will waste my GX attack if it meant knocking out and taking three prizes. See what I'm saying? That's a smart way to do it. Sure, I didn't get the heal. Sure, I didn't get to have the extra energy and, you know, shuffle the deck. Uh, the graveyard back... See, a graveyard Pokemon. The discard pile back into the deck. And now it's just... He's going to summon Gengar. He's not going to be able to fully knock him out. He he looks like he's happy to do it, but he's not going to be able to. I'm going to heal again. I'm going to heal what? A hundred if I put Shaman on the bench. Oh, 
don't forget to heal. <laughs> I'm sitting, I'm, I'm thinking what to do. But hopefully I heal. <clears throat> anyway, all right, what do I do? I know I got to heal. Forget the part where I said I forgot to heal. Um, all right, so I know I got to heal. Let me just, I'm still thinking though. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Okay, yeah, don't forget, I gotta heal. Let's shrink the hand down smaller. So again, all he's gonna be able to do is 150. That's enough for him to live. And then I do this, and hopefully he can't because of the confusion. And he's gonna have to waste something again. That's the thing, it's like, instead of getting all this stuff, you're gonna have to waste the Guzma. Put it out, just to do the 150. And if I can get Lorantis out, I sh should be able to knock this out next turn. If he doesn't kill... If he doesn't knock out my Celebi Venusaur, because I can only do 150, I'll be 10 shy of knocking out the Gengar. Oh, he puts that on the bench. <sighs> mm. If I can get both Lorantas out, then I can knock out the Ultra Necrozma. Because it'll be 190. Let's see what happens. I'd be really happy if I can get both Lorantas somehow. But I think I might have discarded one and most likely the other ones in the price cards. Someone's scared. They retreated. They gotta have a Guzma. Or a switch. Durr. <laughs> oh no. Poor little thing. Hey, I got one of them. That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, and then there's one thing's a waste. First GX moves, so that's luck. And there we go, that's all I needed. Like I said at least one and that will knock out him. But I don't oh, but I don't have oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> oh well. Unless he can switch around again, I don't see it. He's gonna have to have the Guzma. He's going to have to have a switch again. I don't know. He's going to have to have an awful lot of stuff. <sighs> confusion, confusion. But I mean, come on. It's like, I don't know, it's one of those things where it's like, what are the odds of them getting another Guzma? He's going to try it, though. He's going to go for it. Because that little stupid Marshadow. I'll be glad when he's gone. Because I just don't see the point of teching into every deck. I just feel like one... Yeah, for the effect, but at the same time, it wastes your bench space. I don't know. If it works in the deck, that it works in. But I don't see the point of, like, a certain deck, like, say, the Venusaur one here. Do I really need the tech in that? You can use the Judge because you have the Whistle. But otherwise, it will be weird. It doesn't make sense to me. You've got a lot of energy in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, but that sucks, though, because it's not going to kill... What? That was a foolish move. Foolish move, I think, but who knows? We still are half and half here, ladies and germs. I just got to think of what I want to do. Hmm. Because I can Guzma out something, but I need to get Guzma. I don't have Guzma. That's the only thing. He's waiting. He's buying his time. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Ding, ding, ding. So I'm going to go with that because he'll be short.
Well, he won't be sure, but you know. Let's see, two Guzmas. Let's give him that Guzma. <laughs> There, I got the Guzma, and I got the other Lorantis, so... Next turn, I can Guzma it out. Unless he Guzmas it out, it all depends on who gets the Guzma. <sighs> it's all it comes down to, because I got enough to do 190 now. <clears throat> Guzma. Ooh, wow, overkill. He's got the Guzma, because he's overkilling it. There's no point. This is what I don't get with the dragging on. It's like, there's no point. If you have it, play it. That's what I don't get. Like, what is all this for? It's just wasting time. If you have it, play it. There's no need to play all this other stuff. <sighs> All that, and you didn't have it. What was the point then? Heart. Guzma. To that guy. Or that guy, because either way. I do 190. Boosh. Might as well take the three prizes. And there we go. Victory. My victory. Thy name is... Selby Venusaur. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, go back again. I showed you the deck list there. Uh, yeah. Uh, this has been Professor. This has been Pro. This has been Professor. <laughs> Tissajou.